Okay, so before we get started, we need to set the level that we want to work with. So as I said before, um, top of footing, you can see my grid system that we created last time. So I want to draw some walls now that match where I want them to go. So for example, I want to have a nice big giant wall along the front and then two smaller or thinner walls running around the outside of my building here. To do this, we need to create what's called a structural wall. To do a structural wall, we need to come and choose a different wall type that exists in my current model. Okay, so choose this one as a basis, edit. We're going to duplicate this wall and create a new wall. So maybe at the front, we're going to have a 150 mil panel. Pick OK. I'm going to edit its type and its properties, make it a 150 wall and hit OK and OK. And I want to then model that wall based on height, meaning it's going from the current top of footing to, let's say, the upper wall. OK, and you can see that the unconnected height is 7500. So now the height of the wall will run from the top of footing to the upper wall level height. So I zoom in here, I'll snap to my grid and you can see if I go from left to right, it's going one way. If I go the other way, it's going on the other side of that grid line. OK, and this is related to the location line being either near side, far side or on the center line of the wall. If we come into here, we pick and we've created our first wall. So you can see there's our wall. Let's go back to the top of footing. Let's go and create a 125 mil wall around the outside here. So what we'll do is we come in here and go to structural wall. We need a new type. So we're going to duplicate our 150 panel, make this a 125 wall, pick OK, I'm going to edit its parameters, change it to be 125, and pick OK, and OK, and now I can choose to um, uh, choose to model that wall either going in that direction or going in that direction, it really doesn't matter, it's your choice, pick um, but you'll notice that if I go around here, I can go click, click, click. Um, and we can see that in our 3D model, we've got really short walls. Now, what I've done here is I've deliberately forgotten to set the height of my wall. So you'll notice that the wall itself is constrained to the top of concrete. So I can actually choose to constrain this to the lower level up to the level of the lower wall height. Hit apply and you'll see the wall changes. I can do this for both walls. Just select them, highlight them, change them and take it to the lower wall and you can see we've got that covered. Now in this particular case I want my wall to slope from one side to the other. So if you care to remember back when we were at the top of footing we've also got this east view and west view. So if we go to the east side, <clears throat> you can see we've got our high wall and our low wall on the other side. If we double click on the wall itself, um, it gives us the sketch mode of the actual wall. So what we can do is we can drag this up to the top here. Um, then, hang on a second, so drag this up, up to the level that we want it, pick, take this, drag this also up to the top and then the wall has been adjusted and you can see now we get a wall to match what we want so we look in our 3d view there we have it and we repeat the same and then do the other side one other thing that we want to do to these walls um, prior to actually creating our tilt up panels remember that technically these walls are our tilt up panels so we want to put openings in so if we come into the north elevation, you can see, we can see the wall and we might want to put in a wall opening. Okay. So we pick on the wall itself. Okay. And we pick and we create a opening to suit what we want to produce. 
Now once you have the opening here itself, you can pick the opening afterwards and you can come and change this. So let's say I want to make this a thousand down from the top. Um, you might want to make this dimension come back to this grid line and then say this is going to be one meter and then take this dimension here and drag it back to this grid line and make this one meter. Okay. Um, you can see that the, the dimension actually changed there coming to here and you can keep fiddling around or you can actually take these corners here drag them to suit whatever it is that you want to go and do based on your opening the idea is that we need to put these openings in before we do our split 